finding games on your Steam library is easy. You just have to scroll through your library, scroll up and down the scroll bar, find your game and launch it. But what about if you've got 150 games or more? It's going to be a bit of a bummer if you just scroll through all these and try to find your game. It's going to be stressful. So, um, hello, this is Retroburn here, and today I'm going to teach you how to categorize your Steam games in order to make your Steam experience a bit more, a bit easier. So, first off is you should be aware that if you hover your mouse over the library, you've got recent installed favorites uh, games and software. So, if you click on this, um, on these, I, I mean any of these, uh, Steam is going to point you to, I mean, Steam automat automatically uh, groups your games to these oh, four categories, even including music. So if I just click on, you know, if I want to edit videos like uh, this one, I just go to software and there goes my Magic Smoothie Edit Pro. But um, the other features that um, other Steam players aren't aware are these three recent installed and favorites so if you j I just click on this it's going to um, show what I've been looking at recently but what I'm going to to show you how uh, what to do is um, how to categorize your video g your games into uh, groups that you yourself have labeled so um, let's start so uh, I've already uh, categorized uh, some of my games Oh, we're still in the uh, recent menu, so we'll just move to games. So as you can see, I've already um, begun uh, categorizing my games to so shooter first person, and I've got shooter third person, shooter vertical for the shmup games, um, side scrollers, strategy, XCOM, and the XCOM series. Uh, you might ask why I've uh, grouped the XCOM IP into its own groups it's because um, a lot of its uh, games are spin-offs and you can classify them into just strategy because for example uh, XCOM Interceptor is a flight sim so I opted to make just uh, the XCOM series so um, let's start and we've got Dead Island this this is a uh, I think it's still a first person but uh, all three are Dead Island games so let's just skip that one Let's move on to Dead Space, and you can just uh, set this to click on Set Categories, and you can just choose, or you can make new one. Um, say for example, new category. But let's not do that because we've already got a shooter third person. That's where Isaac belongs. All the Isaac uh, games. So let's do that, and then let's click on Dead Space Two. Let's follow up with that. That's space to add to uh, the third person, and so now we've got all my dead space games neatly uh, bundled into my third person shooter category. But um, what you should know is that you can also wait. Uh, do I have an action RPG? Action RPG? No, we don't have that yet. So let's start with Dark Siders, the Dark Siders IP. If you've noticed, I've clicked on the Dead Space games one by one and bundled them into that category uh, individually. But you can also uh, uh, press Shift, hold down Shift, and then click on the games you want to categorize. And then you just set categories. So um, I'm going to say um, RPG, um, Action RPG. Wait, uh, let's just say... Uh, RPG action action RPG okay so let's going to add that and clicking on okay so there it is and let's search for my torchlight 2 games there you go these are also uh, action RPGs so let's group them there and that's pretty much it so I'm going to pause here and classify all my games and then after after that I'm going to show you how my library looks like. So I'm pausing. Okay, so we've categorized everything, but before that I'm going to show you another tip 
how to unhide or hide Steam games. So you might ask, why would I want to hide a Steam game? Uh, there may be uh, games that you've gotten from Steam sales that you don't like or uh, freeware promos that uh, you grabbed and it turned out that you didn't like the games and you didn't want to see it in your Steam library, so it's pretty simple. So um, let's say I don't like Deponia. It's a great game, by the, mind you, but just for uh, illustration, illustration purposes, let's just say I don't like this game. You just go to um, set categories and then you just um, click hide this game from my library. And then you just go right there. And if you want to uh, add that game back, you just go to, uh, to the search bar here, click on the games um, link, and then you go to hidden. And we've got two. So I got Nosferatu from a freeware promo and I, I didn't like it, so I just put it here. But anyway, for Deponia, we're going to uh, add that back, and so we just unclick this thing here, and then we go back to our game menu, and it's right there. So that's pretty simple. So now we've got categories, and you've just seen this nifty plus icon. You just click on that if you want to expand a certain category, and then you'll see your games right there. As you can see, I've got lots of first-person shooters. Um, so uh, this categorization is not perfect. For example, um, we've got uh, Mass Effect somewhere here. We all know that it's an RPG slash shooter, but I just opted to place it in my third person category. So the categorization is not perfect. I might want to uh, shuffle the games a bit after this guide, but I don't know. But um, the thing is not to go wild with categorization do not be too specific because that's going to um uh you're going to get confused with all of the, the categories so what i've done is yeah just like mass effect i didn't uh, put that into a very specific uh, category like shooter slash rpg i just put it in um shooter third person so just to simplify my list so we've got adventure games, fighting games, flight simulators, god games, racing, roguelikes, RPG action, RPG, RPG turn-based, sandbox game, shooter first person, shooter third person, shooter top down, sh shooter vertical, side scroller, uh, strategy MOBA, strategy real time, strategy TCG TCGs. I forgot to um, not to not capitalize S. Strategy turn-based, tower defense, and for those games that have a lot of spin-offs like the Warhammer 40,000 series and the XCOM. Uh, I made uh, separate categories for these also with Dead Island series because um, although it's a first person uh, RPG thing, Dead Island Epidemic is a MOBA. So I just uh, bundled all of them right here in this Dead Island series uh, category. So um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh wait, uh, favorites. Um, the problem with this categorization thing is you might find that it's too much of a hassle to just, you know, uh, click on separate things if you want to play your uh, games that you're trying to finish. So just for the sake of illustration, um, I'm going to show you how to how I'm going to uh, declassify my uh, games that I'm trying to finish. So for example, I'm trying to finish Doom 3 BFG Edition and um, Avernum. So we're going to set these to set categories to um, favorites. Wait, 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 wait. Um, you just click here and then add to favorites. And then it shows right there. Also for this one, add to favorites. But it also preserves its current categorization in that yep, you, you, you still can see the game from this uh, these submenus. So, th so that's quite nifty. You just place all their games to uh, the favorites category. And right from the get-go, if you just go to your library and just, you know, open this up, you can just see all the games that you're currently trying to play. So I hope this guide has been helpful to you guys. This has been Retroburn. And if you like this guide, please like and subscribe. It would go a long way to my efforts in helping out fellow gamers. So um, see you in the next vid. Stay cool. Stay frosty.